most magnesium guides online only talk about the positive effects magnesium has on heart palpitations. But what if magnesium is the cause of your heart palpitations? In this video, I want to show you how I fixed my heart palpitations that I got from magnesium supplements and what the underlying cause of all this is. So you also understand it and can fix it for yourself. Okay, just a quick background. When I first got heart palpitations from magnesium, it was because I was diagnosed with a magnesium deficiency. So my practitioner told me to get a good magnesium supplement and to start taking it. The problem was that after taking it about 30 minutes to two hours afterwards, my heart would start beating faster and more irregular. These are common symptoms that you probably all know from heart palpitations. This of course made me kind of anxious and I didn't want to continue taking magnesium supplements even though I was deficient because feeling these heart palpitations yourself and getting them every time you take a magnesium supplement really isn't a nice experience. And in retrospect, it was a good decision. But there is an easy fix that I want to show you now. Basically, assuming that you aren't under stress and have an adrenaline surge, getting heart palpitations from a magnesium supplement is a clear sign of an electrolyte imbalance. Electrolytes are the minerals in our diet that can carry an electrical charge. This electrical charge is what makes your muscles move. It's what makes your heart beat. But it's also, if you have an electrolyte imbalance, what makes your heart palpitations become stronger or what causes them in the first place. Now, what you have to understand is that for muscle function, there are four important electrolytes that need to be balanced properly. They are magnesium and potassium inside the cell and calcium and sodium outside the cell. There is also chloride as an important electrolyte, but we will ignore it for this video because it isn't relevant for our heart palpitations. Now, when I say that magnesium and potassium are inside the cell, that's just a tendency. You will also find these two outside the cell, but a higher concentration is usually found inside the cell. That's how it's supposed to be. Same with calcium and sodium. It's their tendency to be outside the cell, but some of it will always also be inside the cell. Like I said before, all four need to be balanced for proper muscle function. And this is where heart palpitations come into play. You should never see a vitamin or nutrient deficiency in isolation because all these nutrients interact with each other. And the same goes for electrolytes. So when my magnesium deficiency was found and when I was told to supplement magnesium, probably I also had other nutrient deficiencies and other electrolyte deficiencies. So what I did with my magnesium supplement was increase the magnesium concentration inside the cell. And like I said before, this instantly caused heart palpitations. So this higher concentration of magnesium in the cell was causing heart palpitations. It was causing my muscles and my heart, which is a big muscle, to function improperly. The solution to this is to understand the relationship these four electrolytes have with each other. The main magnesium antagonist is calcium. What that means is while I was taking magnesium and, and higher concentration than normal through my supplement, I was actually throwing off the calcium because the more magnesium you take, the more you will bring down calcium. The same goes for sodium and potassium. They're antagonists. So the more you take of one, the less you have of the other. What that means is that in most cases, if you take magnesium and then you get heart palpitations from it or even normal muscle spasms, then it's usually because of your low calcium. Calcium is a complex mineral because what oftentimes happens is that you actually have too much calcium in the soft tissue. This is called soft tissue calcification, but not enough in the blood in the places where it's needed. So you can actually have both calcium access in places where you don't want it and a calcium deficiency in places where you do want it. That's what I had. So the advice of my practitioner to take magnesium, which brings down calcium, helped in the places where I didn't want calcium. So in the places where calcium was forming heart deposits. But it also knocked down the calcium in my heart, which caused the heart palpitations. 
So my solution was to actually take a calcium supplement along with a magnesium supplement. This almost instantly cured my heart palpitations because it brought calcium and magnesium into their natural balance. Now, finding the right dose for your calcium and magnesium supplements can be somewhat difficult because calcium is such a complex issue. I recommend you work with an experienced practitioner on this who can help you figure this out over time. You probably won't find the right dose right away, but over time you will narrow in on your optimal range because you will feel your heart palpitations go away. And like I said before, it's not just heart palpitations, but other symptoms can include muscle spasms or muscle twitching. These are very common when it comes to a magnesium calcium imbalance. Like I said before, we also have this other interaction between potassium and sodium, and this is also important to balance. So when you look at muscle function, never just look at magnesium and calcium, but also potassium and sodium. I have a video on how to properly diagnose nutrient deficiencies, so make sure to watch that too, so you can not just identify a possible magnesium or calcium deficiency, but also a sodium and potassium imbalance. Because what really happens is that all four interact with each other. Usually it's that the minerals inside the cell, so magnesium and potassium, are antagonist to the minerals outside the cell, so calcium and sodium. So if magnesium is causing something to be unbalanced, then usually it's throwing off calcium primarily and maybe sodium secondarily. Vice versa, if calcium throws off something for you, so for example, if you take a calcium supplement and then you get these muscle problems, then it's probably throwing off your magnesium and your potassium, which sit inside the cell. So to wrap up this video, never view your electrolytes that are responsible for muscle function in isolation. Always view these four together, analyze them together and fix them together. Only then will you be able to get rid of these symptoms and only then will you be able to get rid of heart palpitations within a few days.